Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Hey. And I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Half Life. Yes, welcome back. And good afternoon, because I just figured out that Alfred posts his stuff at, what, 1 p.m. Central Time? Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. That's almost um, always when I post things. Can I tell you a tale real quick? Sure. So when me and my good friend were out on the town um, exploring, we were out on a Friday night in the city, and a very drunk man, uh, held by his compatriots, looked at my friend and said, Good evening. And his friend said, No, no, please. Uh, sorry, he's just drunk. And honestly, I don't even consider it like, unwanted at this point. That was just so fucking funny. Evening. <laughs> like, I think we ran it. We ran into a vampire. Yeah, for real. So anyway, Half-Life, where are we? We are, uh, we've technically completed on a rail. Fuck. Man, that guy's got a good shot. We've technically completed chapter on a rail. So the objective now is to kill the sniper and... Uh, yes. We've got to counter snipe. And I forget what else. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, remember how I kept bitching about how I wish I was playing Half-Life 2? I spent yep. the entire day today playing Half-Life 2. Well, that's good. That means that I'll have some good support for when I play Half-Life 2. Yeah, I'll be nice and ready. Well, I don't think I'll need it. You might. There are a few things in that game that are a little S9. Oh, I'll definitely need it. I'm just playing around, dusting off my shoulders, pretending I'm a cool guy. Yeah. I don't know why you pretend. You think I'm a cool guy? I know. I think you're a cool guy too. Well, okay. Don't get ahead so, of yourself. sniper. Um, I like how I like how at some point Freeman probably could escape, but he chooses not to. Well, by escape, do you mean that he could just run into uh, the deserts of Nevada? Yes. Guys, please. There's only so much wow, gourd juice to go around. Popular man here. Yeah. I imagine, like, the soldiers around the water cooler being like, Man, did, did you see him? Like, he's so cool. He's smart and strong. Now, people hate Jordan. I don't know. I think it's like they hate him, like, because they Fucking want to die. Be him. Sorry, go on. I think they hate him because they want to be him. Nah, I, I think they hate him because he killed all of their friends. Much better. I spoke too fucking soon. Oh, Adequate. It's so, it's so weird being able to hear Half-Life sounds now. Yeah, um... God damn. Sarah was having troubles. Uh, well, really, we were both just having inexperienced problems with Discord. Uh, because gamers we may be, but we don't actually use Discord all that much. Because until recently, we've been in the same room with one another. Is Discord a social media? No. What, what would you consider? Is it like, like kind of like forums, maybe? No. No, not forums. It, it's its own chat thing. rooms. Yeah, it's a chat room. Okay. So, uh, coming up is God damn it! I hate these things. What are those leeches? Yeah, they're leeches. Um, I think Discord is slowly becoming like the only like thing I'm about to be using to chat on well because like Skype has been 
Skype hasn't worked in like a decade. Skype has been so like slow and chuggy for like years now. And Zoom is academic. And yeah, Zoom is for school and may or may not like steal your soul and sell it to the Chinese government. Yeah, and you know, I don't think social media is toxic as everyone says it is. Um, and by everyone, I mean, like, just the popular opinion right now, but I think it can be toxic, like, depending on, you know, how you're using it, and I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that to uh, social media has been very unhealthy for me at the moment, so. Yeah. I I've just been trying to use, like, one or, you know, one or two methods of reaching people instead of like Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, uh, Reddit, Twitter. Oh God, especially Twitter. Twitter's like, I don't think anything has earned the term hell site more than Twitter. Well, and the thing is, is that I, you use social media to gain information, to be entertained. But there was some point where I was getting on Twitter and I was like, huh. I actively dislike my time on here. All I am doing is making myself matter. And it's not even constructive. It's not even like... Yeah. Oh, I'm in for... It's like watching the news. I wouldn't even go that far. I would. I mean, you might learn something if you watch the news. Right, I'm underwater. Guns don't work down here. <laughs> Are those leeches? Yeah. Wait, why is your gun working under there? The pistol's the only one of the only two guns that works under one. Will you drown? Uh yes. You can drown. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> oh god, is it a sea monster? You can so no, just this this graphic, look at it. It's it's just a gif. It's just an animated gif. It looks so bad. So it tells you where not to go. Sure does. There we go. But yeah, I think after like the third YouTuber that I enjoyed came out as like a, a child groomer, I was like, you know, I think I need a break. From life? Yeah, social media. Fair. I totally don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Here. Okay, so I go this way. Which brings me back up to here. Maybe you need to walk across that? Yeah. Maybe, but I'm not sure where this would take me. Oh, maybe it over here. Get in the water there. I think you might be onto something. Hey, you are. Thank you, dear. You're welcome, love. Oh, God. Jesus. Go, Gordon. So one nice thing is that when you get breath back, you'll get whatever health you lost specifically due to asphy asphyxiation back. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, Might uh, another breath of Yep. Yeah. Thank you. 
However, I've lost a lot more than just that. You did get full, uh, more health at some point. Hey, it looks like you can beat that or something. The crevice in the ground? I think you might be right. Uh, unfortunately, I have chosen to die here. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Swim with purpose, hey, Gordon. Maybe you can use the, uh, the crowbar to hit the, the leeches instead. It might give you a bigger range. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Is it working? Sure is. All right. Show him who's boss. Now, maybe it's because I left when I was uh, pretty young, but, um... And also, I think Black Mesa is in uh, New Mexico and not, like... You know, I didn't live in New Mexico. I lived next to New Mexico, like a state away. I don't know of any leeches that live in this area. Gotta say. There are so many things in Half-Life 1, especially, that are just so goddamn goofy. Like the crate smashing room. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Remember how you commented on that water monster? God, I hate water monsters. Let's take a swim. I mean, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like fun. This Play is the ichthyosaur. Toss, toss the guy. Oh, he's aggroed. You can see that. Oh, you're hitting some, him. Something of a big oh, fuck. So we can't kill it because well, our, you see, our big guns don't work underwater. I'm something of a fish myself. <laughs> <laughs> I should make a video I, uh, about Freeman's mind at some point. Okay. I, uh, I would love to do that. I will say, being able to hear the audio in this game is in like is like enhancing my experience so much. Oh, isn't it? This game has fantastic sound design. Not as good as 2, but it doesn't do anything as good as 2. Well, it's just, it's more uh, stimulating as well. Yeah. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. So that's the other gun that works underwater. Harpoon? Crossbow. Oh, crossbow. It also scopes. And it does a Why shitload not? of damage. Unfortunately, the cage that we're in has sunk and... Oh, that terror, that terrifies me. Oh God. Maybe you could have stayed in the cage. I mean, it only works so well. Can he come in there on the top and be like, ah. Resident Evil 4. A little bit, huh? Oh, he even goes belly up. I forgot about that. That's funny. No, I think you can use him to stand on. <laughs> I wish. Unfortunately, no. God, fuck. What is the history of teabagging, by the way? Um, I believe it originates in Halo 1 multiplayer. See, I first learned of it when I was playing Unreal Tournament. That's fair. Lots of that in there. Um, like just the fact that like your your crouch animation makes it look like you're shoving your nuts into somebody's face. Like I feel like that's really all you need to know. You know. Historically speaking, it's a pretty open and shut case. So one thing so I want to warn you... Go on. Go ahead. No, you go. I was going to say, if you shoot one scientist, do they are they like, oh my god, and start getting you immediately, or do you have to like shoot multiple of them? Uh, all scientists in the area will freak out. Okay. Um, but, but you have to kill a lot of security guards, because scientists on their own don't fight back.
Were you supposed to warn me of something? Uh, yes. I just want to warn you specifically of the shitty ladders in Half-Life. It has literally always been a problem in the Source Engine, in the Gold Source Engine. Like, from the beginning into the end, ladders in Half-Life will be a problem. Breathe, Gordon. You got this, Gordy. There we go. Was How that ammo on the ground? Uh, yeah, it was uh, crossbows. See, it's a fucking clip-fed crossbow. Or magazine. <laughs> So another thing that I've noticed, like, ammo is so much more plentiful in this game. Like, you can fill up your shotgun a total of six times in Half-Life. Look at what I'm carrying. I've got 116 on me, and this thing holds eight. So you can fill up your shotgun more than, like, ten times in Half-Life 1. Nice. Uh, what specifically? You just, you shot him real good. Thank you. So, you may notice on this shotgun, there's a little tube on the end underneath the barrel. And Valve, uh, in their infinite wisdom, have somehow confused this to be uh, another barrel. happen there um so if you right click with a shotgun you will instead shoot both barrels as though like shotguns are made to be double and single barrel shotguns um suffice it to say that's not how guns work that's just a two no. wait were you Oh boy. But yeah, that's not how guns operate. It's just a tube down there. It doesn't actually do anything. Do I just jump through here? No. Suffice to say, no. Good underwater sounds. Uh huh. Like, if I heard that in real life, I'd probably just shit my pants. Mm hmm. God, they really fuck you up, but good, huh? Also, this, this is no offense to you, just in general. There we go. You might honestly want to play Half Life 1 on easy mode, or Half Life 2 on easy mode. Why do you say that? Is it hard for beginners? Um, just like. The AI is so good. Like I, I am I find myself constantly out and flanked by dudes. Just cause like they are all so hyper competent. And sometimes they have dumb moments, but like they are this 2004 game is still like leagues smarter than most combatants even today. Ooh, a little hidey room. Mm -hmm. There's actually an achievement for finding all of them in Half-Life 2. Hmm. So, Sarah, you're a scientist. Why don't you tell me what this room is for? Uh, released monster? Oh. What could they possibly be doing in here? Uh, to make those YouTube videos. 
I was gonna say that this is the walnut smashing room. But that's a much better uh, and current joke, you know? Like, when was the last goddamn time you had a walnut, of all things? Sounds like Aaron is texting me. I love this game's sound design so... Like... Listen how good that sounds. That's a, that's music to my ears. Uh-huh. Hey, Walter. Are you Walter? Tracking your progress with the yes. Let's go. Also, um... Yeah, I'm thinking you're definitely gonna, like... Here's my plan, right? I want to play through Half-Life 1 and all of its expansions. Oh, listen to that shit. It's my stuff, man. Like, I, I honestly... I'm trying to think about what this room would be, and I'm like... Maybe they need to crush certain biohazards, but like that would just create more of a mess and Yeah, like I cannot fathom what the fuck this room is used for. Damn it, didn't even jump. Maybe maybe they need to crush big sheets of metal. Wouldn't they just have a a single hammer that smashes really quickly? Because you usually don't, like, squish things, you know? Usually, like, maybe, bam, 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 you gotta beat it out really quickly. Maybe they're doing three at a time? Whoops. Have we missed any more G-mans? Um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we have, actually. I don't... I can't confirm that, though. I just feel like we've definitely missed some G-Mans. Because the fucker's all over the place, you know? Gordon Freeman, it is you, isn't it? The science team is behind. You won't even know I'm here. I'm going to stay here and wait for my... All right. Can I get you on this thing, bro? Yeah, this game kind of has a thing where it tries to, like, give AI to scientists so that they can, like, do stuff, but it's rather rudimentary. Like, you just want a fucking guy to get over here and use his key, and, like, I'm not listening to this game very well. I barely know what does what here. It's one of those things that is just, like, it's so a product of its time, you know? Damn it. I'm gonna look up what press... What, what do you call these? Uh, hydraulic call presses. Them? Thank you. What are hydraulic presses for? There we go. Oh, that's nothing. Great. I came over here. Uh, it just says it's a manufacturing tool. Maybe it's for stress testing. Mm -hmm. Maybe, ooh, maybe they're using it to test their suits, but three at a time. <laughs> Specifically three at a time, yeah. Maybe they need, like, a control. And, like, two different suits. And they can't control the pressure, so they need... I don't fucking know. I'm trying so hard. Right. Cold storage. So this is kind of interesting. You can see that we have different readouts for the type of damage we take. And this is one of the only parts of the game where you take ice damage.
Also, this is really funny. If you shoot a fire extinguisher while you're right next to it, you will also take ice damage. Oof. Because, hey, they put out fires, you know? I was in cover, you dick. Oh, there's another one. I got teleflanked. That's just a picture. As is this. Okay, cool. Alright, I figured out where I'm going. I will also say, I don't know if you know this from your uh, Unreal Tournament days. Mostly because I don't know if there was a strat. But bunny hopping is always quicker. Make sure you don't... So, I don't know if you could hear that guy, but he says, Freeman, make sure you don't... Were you supposed to kill him? He didn't... I didn't kill him. He was shot in the back. Oh, shit. Why don't we see what shot him, eh? <gasps> Ninjas. Ninjas? Yep. This is one of the game's iconic moments of just like fucking ninjas show up, you know? They really don't care about their guys. They sent them in in nothing. You got a big boy suit. Well, actually, it's funny you mention that. So the Heiku grunts, uh, we see that when um, Shepard hits the place. He actually has the ability to accept charge from HEV units. Ooh, your health. Yeah, it's not high. Luckily, oh thank goodness, there's a thing here. But I still definitely need more health. Yeah, so we, we have the suit that allows us to, like, take a ch like accept a charge. Oh, good. More stuff. Um, and allow us to take, like, double the damage. Mm -hmm. The Heiku Grunts can as well. Um, I don't think most of them keep their suit charged, though, is one of the things. Oh, good. Another thing. Good. I'm, I needed it. Oh no, they're bagging and gagging you. I see it. Uh, all right, we got it. Yep. Is that a game over? Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Topside for questioning. What the hell for? We got him. Let's kill him now. Uh, and if they find the body. Body? What body? <laughs> <laughs> so, in case you couldn't hear them. They want to off me because uh, I've killed all of their friends. It's not like beef is a butthead. They kind of do. So, you a fan of Star Wars, babe? Am I a fan of Star Wars? Specifically, the movie called Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Doing one of those, huh? Yep. Uh-oh. All right, go time. See, so they actually put me in a trash compactor because they're just that super villainous. Interesting. More Shit. hydraulic presses. A lot of those going around. I think they're just the style at the time. Luckily, I found my crowbar again. Oh, you're skinny enough to be a fine there. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load that. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Load it from here. Yeah, that's the chapter Apprehension. 
a Why very not? very good classic episode in the Freeman in the Freeman quest. Here we go. Sploosh. And we're done with apprehension. Oh. On to residue processing. Heard some flies. So if you recall, uh, in Freeman's mind, this is when he passes out and forgets everything. Oh. And has to spend a few episodes remembering uh, all of the shit he did. I do recall that, yes. It's a good arc. I love it for its implication that it's a pretty normal weekend for Freeman. To wake up in a trash compactor is not so out of the ordinary that he's like freaking out. He's like, oh god. Practically like another home to him at this point. Yeah. Like, he compresses during the weekend, and the rest of the week he decompresses. <laughs> he reinflates himself. <laughs> so I have no idea what the hell this is. By the way, look at that JPEG. What? The graphics. Mm-hmm. Doesn't this take me down? Or do I go this way? Is there fall damage in this game? There is fall damage, but I landed in an uh, inch of water. Protecting my oh, fragile okay. bird-like bones. Go, go, go. Uh, but yes. Fall damage is actually pretty bad in this game. It's... Like, sometimes you f you just fucking break your leg on, like, a fall that, like, I could do in real life without power armor. Uh-oh. That's a jump you need to make. Oops. And sometimes a scripted thing like that will not kill you or hurt you at all because they need to make sure that you won't die. Boy, that just doesn't look good in there, huh? You took one look at that, and you're like, mm, that's for later. So that guy made it, Aww. like, two steps out here, and then got got. So yeah, for whatever reason in this game, holding down right uh, mouse click on the pistol makes you rapid fire it. Oh, right on. Um and like past Watch like hour me, two maybe, you just don't use the pistol in Half Life Two. Except for like very specific things like I gotta shoot this thing and I don't want to waste a real gun. Did they keep the suit on you? Hmm? Did they let you keep your suit? Yeah. Oh, what dummies. Well, they're all jocks, you know? This was your dad's job before he worked as that bouncer. <laughs> what? He was in the military and he fought Gordon Freeman? I believe it. He was just there to collect the paycheck, you know? <sighs> I don't think my my dad actually has not been in the military. Shit. Hey, there's some bones in here. Are those coming from me? I hope those aren't my bones. I hope these aren't Chris's the bones. These, 
These guys don't strike me as military. They strike me as like special forces, you know? They're kind of special forces. Like, I don't see your dad in the military, but I do see him as like, you know, some type of like super spy special forces thing. That is so tricksy. Yeah. One wonders how you're really supposed to get through this fucking building. Another one. Oh my god, there's so many. Like, what the fuck is this goddamn Willy Wonka? Like, is this how we take care of radioactive waste, guys? We just kind of mush it around in these big vats? You know, is is that the is that what we do? Shit, ow. <laughs> this part is rough. Yeah. Um for some people this is their least favorite part of the game. I, I still think on a rail is the worst level. Um, and I haven't been mentioning the other parts that are I think are bad because they're spoilers. And like, eh? If you're coming in on this fresh, then why shouldn't some other people? Uh. But yeah, it's on a rail. Some people don't like this because you lose your gear. Um, and some people don't like the last few levels because they they can feel kind of samey and boring. Um, I don't really have that problem with them compared to like other things, I guess. God damn it. Uh, because the last few levels, if nothing else, have a really cool mechanic that works for them. This would be a good time to save. Yep. There we go. Damn, why was that so easy? Girls were watching. You know what my favorite part about this arc in Freeman's mind is? What is it? There's some implications that Freeman is totally not remembering what was happening. His life is just that weird. Because he remembers that, like, he was the subject of a government conspiracy. And he was like, of course. Man, this just proves me right again that the government is evil. People should have listened to me. The government's not hacking your phone, Freeman. The government's not monitoring your calls, Freeman. The government isn't being run by frog people, Freeman. Like, he says all of these as though they're all a logical conclusion to come to after the events that have happened to him. When really, only a few of them are. Yeah, I believe the frog people thing. Honestly? After, after 2016 last, on? After our last presidency, yeah. So... This one makes a little more sense, but I still don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. How long are we supposed to have our, these episodes? Um, 45 minutes-ish. 45? 40, 45, yeah. We're coming, up, we're coming up on a cut if you're worried. Want to take a break? I'd like to think I remember this game well enough to remember all the stopping points. Yep, there's the meat. The meat shoots. God, where are all the janitors in this game? They're dead. Sploosh. They were the first to go. No one respects janitors. Especially in things like this. Alright, so we got that fan that goes nowhere. 
We got this fucking place. We got the meat shoots ahead of us. So one thing that I was really, that I really didn't expect going in, or going back rather, to Half-Life 2, is that like, it feels like a tech demo, you know? Oh, it's where they make Doritos. <laughs> for? Uh, well, strictly speaking, for the source engine. But yeah, the Maybe whole game feels that. like... What's up, babe? Maybe you can get under that. Uh, I'm thinking so. Worth a shot. Alright, looks like you were right. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Uh, but yeah, the whole game feels like a tech demo for the Source Engine. And, like, it's still a great game. But, like, there's so many things where it's like, Gordon, quick, play with our new physics. You know? Gordon, we've invented new vehicle techniques. Play with them. See how they work. They're cool. And, like, it's like that for the whole game. And, like, I can't fault them because, man, they did kind of fucking knock it out of the park with some of those things. But, like... Yeah, so much of that game is just a huge fucking tech demo. More of these goddamn... I'm losing my goddamn mind at these fucking walnut crushers. Like, why even have trash cans at this point? The whole yeah. facility is just a big trash can. Just crush them like a walnut. Oh, God damn it. Because I want to do it perfectly now. I imagine, like, I want you to put, like, he like sound effects over that. That's just, like, donk, donk, donk. <laughs> it's just in his head. Just ow, 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 ow. You know, there's actually a lot of controversy over whether or not Gordon Freeman has a helmet on. Hmm. I mean, we should probably just meet in the middle. How do you He's recommend like we go about that, huh? Uh, like, he has a metal hood. Okay, so there are two there are two schools of thought with the Gordon Freeman helmet debacle. One, every single HEV suit besides Gordon's is shown to have a helmet until Decay came out. I have an idea. Yeah. Go through those and try to miss them hitting you. Never mind. You've got the right idea. I just really want to extinguish this bull squid. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to quick save here, so when I quick load, I'll come back here. We're going to move, and we're going to... Those are my doom fingers coming into play. Then we're going to quick save again. The fucking lever stuck me in place. Maybe it's gotta be the right combo? I'm thinking... The slowest combo? Yeah... Try that one. Nope, that one pushes you back. You need, you need the conveyor belt to go to the right. Well, there's also, um... This. Oh. What'd you we look at it. that? 
thought it just switched them. But it instead freezes them. You're right, this is the conveyor control. You're totally right. Okay, the middle one's going up now. Why don't we do them all up? Yeah, wow. Sorry, I was misinterpreting this puzzle. You were right. I'm a puzzle master. Well, this is so, like, one of those, like, crazy Resident Evil puzzles that has no bearing in reality. Well. I'm thinking you gotta get the middle one, because the middle one's, like, the best right now. Or that one? And duck? Ah, oh, damn it. Was it not up high enough? Yeah. Well, like, it's just a timing thing. You can get that down. Yeah, it's so far away, it's really hard to see, is the thing. Is that what you want? Okay. Oof. It's a bad one. <laughs> it, like, bounced you for a little bit. Yeah. Only stop the episode when I complete this squish puzzle. Ooh. Go go go! You know what I? You know what happened? I said I was giving up. And then. And then in that moment, victory came to me on wings. Oh God! See, the problem say. is that I kind of need to finish this because otherwise I'll have to come back and do this like right after loading. Yep. Fucking Jesus. walnut squishers. Hey, you did it. Oh, that's a furnace. I think it's just a pit or goo. Well, no, no, no. That is a furnace. Yeah, this one definitely appears to be a furnace. Go! Might want to save. Yeah. Yep. Now, if, if I've ever seen fine. a furnace, that one's a furnace. It looks fine. Go ahead. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, that took me in a circle. Oh, that's not happening. One moment. Okay. Less damage. Yeah, but I want to see if I can get it down to nothing. I also think I need to be over there. Right. Look at that. Solving the problems, making it better. Lower myself down again. All right. I think that's the best it's gonna get. But that should fulfill my promise, right? Yes. So that's been Half Life, everyone. Thank you for coming by. See you later. See you later. Have a good day, everyone.